So this is Electric Football with Steve and with Stu. I got all my picks wrong last week. I hope you didn't listen to... What's the sound of that? Uh, yeah, that's a punt being blocked. Is what ah, that ah, sounds ah, like. Ah, ah. Browns at Ravens. Stronger running game and quarterback. He can carry the Ravens to a win over the slightly reeling Browns. Stoop. Uh, the Manziel project has ended already, thankfully. The Browns were a sham to begin with. The Ravens are that team that should be excelling. But for some reason, they're like they're sputtering. And they're, they're eight and a half point favorites here at home. And I, I can't go against that if it's eight and a half points. But, geez, the Ravens aren't looking like the team I thought they were going to be heading into the playoffs. They're, they're a nerve-wracking team. I'm taking the Ravens, but Cowboys at Redskins. And the boys got an early Christmas present uh, when the, the Eagles just gifted them a clinch division. Here you go, guys. Yeah. Open it up early. No need to wait till Christmas. Uh, it's all going to depend on if the Cowboys rest their starters. But um, the uh, the Redskins, um, done, done. So I actually think the Cowboys win this game and go into the playoff with some momentum. Where pale face and red skin both turn, turn chicken. chicken. Romo is Captain Parmenter and will probably make some mistakes in the game. Uh, but they will probably win as they try to get home field advantage here. A lot of things have to happen for that. And, they, and I don't know that it will, but... The one thing is they got something to fight for here, and the Redskins don't. So you got to go with the Cowboys here. Uh, F Troop, baby. Pretty good. Uh, <laughs> Colts at Titans. And, and the Colts clinched the division, but they could use a little momentum going into the playoff. Uh, Luck has not played at his best. They got blasted last week. Did Andrew Luck not become an elite quarterback, Steve? Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? They, uh, they clinched their division. If that's not good enough for you, let's see what he does in the playoffs. He, he is... About to become an elite quarterback to everybody, including Stu. It's easy to say in Week 17 if we don't come. Well, well I guess we'll do the playoffs. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I like the uh, Colts to blast the Titans early and cruise in the second half, even with some injuries. Yeah, nothing at stake here. If non-elite luck plays at all, I mean, I don't even know if he has to play. I guess he should, but they should win this handily if he does. If he sits most of the game, they'll still win. It just probably might be a little closer. I don't even know who their backup is. Um, not enough for the Titans to steal a win here. Actually, there's a lot at stake for the Titans because if they lose, aren't they uh, aren't they in, still in the running for the number one pick? I believe the Raiders uh, earned that, didn't they? No, no. It's, oh, okay. uh, it's down to the Titans, Bucks, and the tiebreaker goes to the Bucks based on strength of schedule. I believe. All oh, right, Bucks, not Raiders. Yes, oh, God, yes. So uh, if the um, if they both lose or they both win, the Bucks get it. But, oh, then lay down, lay down. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's see how much motivation either of these teams suck have. Suck for luck. I don't know who you want the first Saints game. at Bucks. Uh, suck for Mariota doesn't really work. Or yeah. Win, <laughs> go winless for Winston, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Saints at Bucks. Uh, Saints catch a Buck team that has to lose to guarantee themselves a shot at a top QB. Somehow I think the Bucks are going to screw that up. They do. I think they get the win here. I think so, too. I hope they do. Just, you know why? The Saints need to reel. I mean, they are they're just awful this year and they, they need something to go into next season uh, so they can come back strong. This was an embarrassing season for a pretty good Saints team. All right. Uh, Eagles at Giants and the Eagles at some point were nine and three and then just collapsed, uh, taking themselves right out of the playoff picture. Uh, the Giants have gone on their usual late season surge a little too late to uh, to really matter. Yeah. Uh, but they do have a tendency to play well at the end of seasons for some reason under Tom Coughlin. And uh, I like the Giants to take this one at home from the from the droopy-winged birds. Yeah, here's where Eli throws for seven touchdowns and Sanchez returns to the uh, field of the infamous butt fumble. Uh, it's not a happy confine for him, so I, I, I'm truly taking the Giants. I think the Eagles, after being in first place for most of the season, just went, ah, frigate. Yeah, evidently. <laughs> Bills at Pats, and uh, the Pats are the first team to clinch home field throughout. Uh, they appear to be the dominant team in the AFC. They are. Though they barely beat the Jets. I mean, let's not get crazy. They barely beat the Jets. Uh, the Bills have shown great improvement. If you said to me what team is on the rise right now, it's the Bills. They're handicapped by lack of a quarterback, unless E.J. Manuel somehow makes it, you know, a no, huge they need a comeback. Um, but were they to get one or two pieces on the offense— they could be a scary team next year. Mm -hmm. uh, so I like the Bills to win this game because Brady and Belichick really don't care about this They've one. clinched home field throughout. There's really no reason to, to – uh, they'll start, but they won't be in there long. I, I certainly wouldn't risk 
against a pretty ferocious Bills defense. I wouldn't risk Brady or any of their you know, top-tier guys at this point. There's no reason to. One quarter, done. Rest for the playoffs. Jags at Texans, and I'm on the lot for MVP bandwagon, and I, I hope his seven sacks, the four passes he defends, the two forced fumbles, his interception and the two offensive touchdowns he's going to score this week, put him over the top. I Give me imagine. the Texans. I, I can't imagine he's not the MVP of the league. Unbelievable. Uh, evidently, a lot of people can't imagine uh, that. It, it makes no sense. If the Chargers and the Ravens lose, Houston sneaks in, so they got a lot to play for here. Uh, how can they lose to the Jags? They can't. They cannot. I mean, really, they don't. Um, Casey Kasem returns from the dead to rally the Texans to a meaningless win, and they pack their bags when they find out the Ravens won and they're not going to the playoffs. <laughs> All right. Chargers at Chiefs. And the Chargers saved their season uh, with a furious comeback and an overtime win against the 49ers. Yep. And the Chiefs blew my upset pick of the week last week. All my picks were blown last week. Uh, but I still believe the Chiefs have the better D uh, – and I see a home win for them in this one. I think the Chargers drop it, drop the ball in, in uh, their, uh, you know, they need help right now, right? And, yeah, I got it right here. Right. Denver clinches with a first round buy if with a win or a tie, a Bengals loss or a Bengals tie plus a Colts win. The Bengals clinch with a win or a tie in week 17. Cincinnati clinches a first round buy with a win plus a Broncos loss or tie, a tie plus a Broncos loss and a Colts loss or tie. Do the math here. It's not, Chargers clinches playoff spot with a win and a tie with the Ravens uh, plus – oh, they'll clinch a playoff spot with a win or a tie plus a Ravens loss or tie. So, blah, 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 blah. basically <laughs> – What language was that? It was, hey, it's NFL.com. I printed it out because it was so confusing. The Chiefs clinch a playoff spot with a win – Plus the Ravens and the Texans loss or tie ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. No. So uh, I, I'm expecting the Chargers to get in here. Okay. Uh, Jets at Dolphins. Do you want to? Oh, I just want to remind you what this was. Miami announces that the head coach and the GM are staying. Woohoo! Mediocrity for 2015. Yay! Thank you, Mr. Ross. We don't have anything building here in Miami. If you consider 500 a good record for three years as a head coach, you are a complete idiot. Dolphins win to go out and, you know, think they're great with a number. We're number two chant in the AFC East. Uh, and we'll, we all know what number two is. You know, we're number two. Well, mm. Stu evidently refuses to embrace mediocrity. Uh, hated rivals with the, uh, the emotional rocket propulsion of this being Rex Ryan's likely last day. Uh, versus playing for pride with home field advantage. I like the Jets' D to rise up. Supposedly, they all love Rex and want to play for him again. Uh, if they're going to give him a good send-off, here's their chance. I'm taking the Jets. Speculation is Rex crosses the field at the end but stays on that side and becomes a defensive coordinator for the Dolphins that, next year. That would not be a That bad would be thing interesting. You. There you go. Uh, Bears at Vikes. And, and the Vikes like to jump out to leads and then find almost unbelievable ways to lose games. That's my bikes. It's been uh, been my bikes for 43-plus years, all the time I've loved them. I take credit for those uh, <laughs> losses, for those spectacular, heartbreaking losses. I swear, sometimes I think they sit around going, how can we get Steve this week? Yeah. You know? I know. Uh, but um, tough season for us with the AP child abuse stuff, but we've improved. And uh, I'll take my boys to win this game, and I'm going to do a quick AP rant. Good, because um, my pick's the bikes, so go ahead. Here's, here's something I don't understand. It's a foregone conclusion, it seems, that Adrian Peterson is not going to be with the Vikings next season. But it's also a seemingly foregone conclusion that he's going to play in the NFL. So what is the advantage of him playing for another team when we've taken all the hit, when we've been, you know, why does that make it better if the Vikings cut ties? What he did, he did. He's been punished for it. Why does it make it better if he's playing for, name a team, I don't know, the freaking Cowboys, who he evidently uh, was calling Jerry Jones during an interview and going, yeah, I'd like to play for you guys. Yes, one more week and I'm free. I guess they don't need him. But, uh, you know, where's a great – the Colts. There's a great fit, right? Mm -hmm. You give the Colts a dominant running back they, like they tried to get in Trent Richardson. But why is that any better? Why does that make what he did, you know, any, well, any less bad? Why can't Richie Incognito find a job? It, it doesn't make sense. This guy, you know, all right, he bullied someone. Meanwhile, you got other guys who are beating the crap out of their wives or beating their kids, and they have a chance to come back and play, and yet nobody picked up Richie Incognito. I don't understand that. He's either the devil incarnate and a bad 
teammate, but every Dolphin stood up for him when this whole thing went down. I don't get it. You know, I but I can it. understand him not being picked up by the Dolphins. I understand what you're saying. Oh, I understand that. Because he caused team chemistry problems. But I, I don't I get what you're saying well, where, you know. he didn't. Every teammate was behind him. True. Well, you know, the, the locker room, I'm not sure every teammate, a lot of the vocal teammates were. Um, One teammate. I got you. I got it. It's a weird. It's a weird situation. Once the guy's done the crime, there there seems to be this unwritten rule that they cannot stay on that team, uh, no matter what the crime is, and it's a weird one. And while I'm ranting, don't expand the freaking playoffs. No. Don't go to an eighteen, you know, eighteen game season and kill the freaking Thursday night games. Yeah, Thursday's garbage. Thank you. I'm done. Yeah, Thursday nights just it's one too many days of football. Well, look at look at the NFC South, and then tell me you want an expanded playoff. Right. Uh, no. Basketball season is a joke. Hockey season is a joke. Baseball Let's not season. make the NFL season a joke be- because um, we want you know one, one extra TV package. Right. Let's not do it. Okay. Money. All right. Sorry, I, I, uh, you got an espresso machine at work. But now we're back. Raiders at Broncos. Peyton comes up short in another big game last night, giving Tom Brady an early Christmas gift. Yep. You know, oh no, we'll be able to go through. Uh, we'll be able to go through Foxborough and and take them like we always do in the big games, right? Yeah. Uh, he right. looks. He looks weak throwing he, the ball. That first pass tough. he threw was up for an interception too, and. Um, the O line looks to have the shakes too a little bit. Uh, they win this game. I have no doubt about that. They get a bye, but I don't like their playoff. Um, I don't like their playoff chances like I, I would have had Peyton come out there and zip the ball around and beaten the Bengals, especially after Dalton throws a pick six. Like here you go, guys. Really? I mean, it, it was almost like we were on script, and then something just boom blew up. The only thing that can happen here is the Bizarro Raiders and the Bizarro Broncos show up, and it's backwards, and the Raiders win. There's no way that's going to happen. Even a limping, hobble, crippled Manning is going to beat a Raiders team, you know, in in Denver here. So, and and he's going to win so that he can go to Foxborough and get blown out 52 to seven by Brady and Belichick. Take the Broncos here, but it's going to be the last game that's going to be meaningful for them because they're not going to the Super Bowl. Is that the first time you broke out Bella Cheat? Because I like that. I don't know. Cards at 49ers, and the 49ers stood up and just pissed away their their playoff spot, which they deserve over any team in the NFC South. Um, has Rashad Johnson landed from when Marshawn Lynch just picked him up and tossed him? Peterson and, and him just, it was like... <clears throat> It was, um, it was a, what, that's the best run I've seen since his last best run. <laughs> there, are an awful, is, there are an awful lot of best Marshawn Lynch beast mode runs. crap. Somebody's got to have that put together on YouTube. If not, Dolphin, you get on that. Yeah, 316, put it together for Stitch me. Stitch him together. Anyway. He's a stats um, guy, not a video guy, right? I yeah. don't know. Oh, find, by the way, I'm still gloating. Find us a guy. Anyway, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the 49ers are a dispirited team that's about to be broken up. Uh... Trent Balky and, and Harbaugh evidently just are, are Scrooge and, and whoever, you know. Uh, that. Marley. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Going to watch that tonight. But the Cardinals, the team I feel the worst for this season, having lost two quarterbacks and, and uh, losing their chance at really what should be, first off, uh, what's his name, Bruce Arians? Yeah. Coach of the year. Absolutely. Just give it to him. Absolutely. Give it to him early. Put it under a straight. Oh, look, coach of the year. Yeah. Who got me this, honey? And the first round uh, playoff exit. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> they deserve better. They're not going to get better. But I think they, um, I actually think they lose this game, too. Let, let's put that out there. I think the 49ers are going to be able to run the ball on them. And uh, Kaepernick will set up just good enough field position with a couple of third down runs. Give me the 49ers. Yeah, now I'm taking the Cardinals here. Harbaugh will walk off with a loss for the last time as head coach of the 49ers here. Uh, the Cards got smoked by Seattle. It, that defense is better than that game, you know, and you're playing Seattle in Seattle. What are you going to do? But I'm positive that the Niners are so messed up that they just can't put together a win for Harbaugh, and they go out with, a, with their crushing defeat to the, to the Cardinals. Lions at Packers. Love it. Win the NFC North. This is a win. game. Packers need this game desperately to avoid having to travel away from Green Bay where they are a vastly different team. And once again, the Lions' temper gets to them as uh, Dominic Rayola decides he's going to stomp on Ego Ferguson. It's his, uh, I read this today, it's his sixth safety violation since 2010. And he's still playing. And he's the guy that dove at the knees of the Patriot mm-hmm. on the kneel down play, and he got one game suspension, folks. 
Still playing. One game. Pretty weak. He must be in the Italian mafia. Uh, he deserves, uh, you know, in a 14 year break an ankle. You would think a 14 year old veteran would understand the, you know, the importance of, of where they are. Yep. Uh, plus, Indomitian Sue is better at the personal fouls. <laughs> and, I'm just saying. They're the curb stomping lions. Yeah. <laughs> now both sides of the ball have picked it up. Honest to God. Uh, give me the pack with a better pressure QB, a better tested pressure QB. At home, knowing how badly they need this to stay in Green Bay. Give me the pack. Yep. Um, agreed. Uh, the Lions haven't won in 23 trips to Lambeau and the other field that they used to have. They're not winning this one either. I'm sorry. Aaron Rodgers is is head and shoulders above any guy that's in the NFC as far as a quarterback goes. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the best team around him, but he is the best quarterback in the NFC. And I think this is a pretty easy win for them, especially when you lose your starting center. You stupid idiot, Rayola. You're an idiot. You're bigger than me, and I hope we never meet so you don't crush my skull, but you're an idiot. He sounds Italian. Maybe he'll join the Fairlawn Cosmos Club. Don't mention it. What am I doing, Stu? I'm warming up. Oh, yeah, you're next, right? Rams at Seahawks. And yeah, it took the Hawks a while to get warmed up this year, but... Damn, they look scary now, don't they? Yeah. They have just been, they've got Zilla right now just going through teams. Come here, Lindley. Ah, eat your heart out. Uh, Rams, chippy. Uh, some cheap shots. Love the way they played this year. Did you? I didn't like the way they played against the Giants because I thought they were trying to take out Odell Beckham Jr. Oh, I, uh, I didn't see that because I don't watch the Giants and Jets because that's they're not from New Jersey. I, I thought it was a little cheap. Uh, oh, another rant. Why, do, why don't they put... Um, because of Jimmy Clausen getting his bell rung out. You know, like, these guys get into one game, and, and they're gone. W- what happened? Was it not Don Beebe? Who was the um, the Bills' safety? Oh, uh, t- Kelso. Uh, tangent. Uh, Kelso. Mark Kelso. Kelso? He, he oh, yeah, the, the rubber hat. Wore the padded hat. Tasker, I was thinking. Why don't they all put those pads on the helmets and see if it makes a difference in the preseason games? You talking about player <laughs> safety? Because they'll all look like the great kazoo from the Flint. I don't care. Make them the great kazoo. If it, if it stops, oh, dum, dum. If it stops a couple of concussions, God bless them. Anyway, uh, I don't see the Rams having a chance in Seattle against a team that's... that's uh, Sorry, pencil. Yeah, it's going to be well, noisy on this show. David Letterman stuff. Uh, who's getting the, just the Rams, no chance. Seattle, I'll stop. Too much right. espresso. It's just a tune-up game for Seattle. This is where they're going to, you know, play for, well, I guess they're playing for the division title right here. Uh, yes, they yeah. are. Okay, Assu- so they are. So assuming it's a that the Cardinals uh, don't win. Yeah, you don't want to go to, through Seattle uh, in the playoffs just as much as you don't want to go through Foxborough in the other division. Um Marshawn Lynch is just going to run over these guys. It's not going to be a game. The Rams, they've played well, but Seattle is just clicking. It's time for Seattle to to go back to the bowl here. All right. Panthers at Falcons. Love it. Win or go home time in the crappiest division in the NFL. Win or go home next week. The Falcons have the (laughs) – nice. The Falcons have the offensive explosion to win this game big early – or if they need to make a late comeback. Mm -hmm. But the Panthers have a simpler game plan. We're going to line up. We're going to knock a crappy Falcons defense off the line. We're going to pound, pound, pound. And and we're going to win this game, uh, you know, in in old-style football. That's my opinion on on how the the Panthers best win this game. And I think Occam's Razor, which has clearly missed my thug beard, (laughs) Uh, says the simplest way, you know, the simplest solution is the right answer usually. Give me the Panthers to, to shave the Falcons using Occam's razor. Yeah, the Panthers have won three straight, but they've only beaten the Lions. Go look at their schedule. They've beaten nobody. Falcons' only good win was against Arizona, and I think that was first week of November. So really it's not going to matter who gets in here. This game is great because it's a win-or-lose scenario. But neither of these teams is going to advance further than this Sunday's. Uh, I'm taking the Falcons just so Mike Smith can do one more ride in the bus uh, before they ride him out of out of town. Uh, I don't think he's back next week, so I'm taking the, the the Falcons to lose to whoever they play the next week. All right, Bengals at Steelers, and I apologize to Ben Roethlisberger, Bell, Brown, all the bees on the Steelers' uh, freaking offense because. I rode the Steelers down in our preview, 
and I kept expecting their, their age to show. I, I kept expecting them to um, to fall to injuries. I, I don't know. Steelers have played much better than I thought that they would this year. Uh, if you looked at the, the game yesterday with the Bengals, um, they didn't play great. Dalton didn't play great. Dalton's terrible. Right. Uh, so it was another, another big game where he did not play great, and I, I see him in a pressure situation here, folding like origami. Give me the Steelers, and yeah. I, I owe them an apology. So th- this is for the division. The Bengals humanized Manning last night, but I am sold on Pittsburgh. Uh, they have the better squad here. Al Green looked like he was hurting late in the game, and I don't know his status today. It's uh, it's Tuesday. Al Green, great soul singer. Yes. Uh, I know he's not playing. <laughs> that I know. But but don't you love that little Jeremy Hill? I mean, that boy can scamper, you know? <laughs> he's a scamperer. Yeah, he's a scamperer. True. Copyright 2014. Uh, I just like the Steelers in their ballpark. I don't like the Bengals at all. Last night's win uh, against Denver, uh, I don't know how that happened. That was you know, There was a lot of weird games this weekend. Um, and it was a good move making that the 830 game, though. Uh, this is where the NFL scheduling, I had a couple mis- mis- mishaps with the scheduling because I did my notes yesterday. Um, and they... They flex a couple games, so my was a little out of order here. But that's a good move. That's the game everyone's going to want to watch. Oh yeah, my Cla- opinion. Classic uh, matchup. Yep. Good stuff. Playoffs involved, and uh, AJ Green is already saying he's going to play. So yeah. that that does help um, the Bengals' cause, but I don't think enough. Not enough. No. Anyway, that's a season of that electric is a, that's football. Seventeen Wrap weeks of nonsense. It up, put a freaking bow on it. We love you all for watching. We love you more for commenting. And uh, thank you. We'll be back for the playoffs, we uh, maybe we assume. <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> um, if we have a flip camera to do the show with next week, I think we'll be okay. Uh, in the meantime, if we don't, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to you all. We really do appreciate you watching. We're a couple of idiots who love talking about football and the fact that there's other people out there that actually might have some interest in what we say. Uh, seek help. Now is the time of the year to seek help. That's Stu Pace. I'm Steve Brown's friend, Steve Brown. And this is the hand. Bye now. Merry Christmas. Ha 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 ha. Ho ho ho.